Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geeks Varna. Today we're going to be looking at the new firmware update for the DJI Mavic Air 2. And amongst other things, take a look at the new zoom feature. Just before we start, Geeks of Arna is a channel focused on drones and tech. This ranges from the latest drone news, how-to videos, tech reviews, and even some fun live streams. If this is something you like the sound of, then subscribe, and to get the latest content first, hit the notification bell. The new update released on the DJI Mavic Air 2 has been numbered differently for some people. However, the official release is V01.00.0340. One of the biggest surprises in this update is the digital zoom, which gives you up to four times zoom at 1080p, uh, which is up to 60 frames a second, two times zoom at 60 frames a second in 2.7, and up to two times zoom in 4K, although only up to 30 frames a second there. Let's take a look at some of the zoom differences here. Once you have updated the app, you'll see the time symbol next to the record button, which will allow you to zoom in up to four times, depending again on the resolution that you are using. When you open the video options menu, the zoom will automatically come up on the screen next to the record button on each of the resolution options. Although you will notice that the 4K option actually has its specific uh, button for 4K zoom or 4K wide. Next up, and we have improvements to the obstacle avoidance system. Hit the three dots on the top right. The first menu item there is safety and you will then see you now have three options. The first one is bypass, then brake, and of course there is also an option to allow you to turn it off. There is also now an option to allow you to turn off sideways flight. This will help in combination with the bypass mode to avoid some of the issues in avoidance the Air 2 has when flying sideways and out of sensor range. Some of the other update points to run through quickly includes optimization to FPV mode. This will create a smoother experience uh, if you so decide to fly like that. Uh, they also have updated the hyperlapse waypoints to allow up to 45 waypoints. This means the number of waypoints will go beyond the capacity of your battery potentially. So to get the most out of this, you will need to save the hyperlapse in your task library. Hyperlapse is now available in 4K, as opposed to the previous limitation of just 1080p or 8K. There's also been some optimization to the low altitude active track uh, when tracking a vehicle. Sports mode has been updated. With the recent improvements to gimbal control, this benefits sports mode directly by removing the camera dip, which full throttle could cause, as well as ensuring the props do not appear in the corners of the video. So there we have it, a major update for the DJI Mavic Air 2, which has already been an impressive and fun drone to fly. What do you think of the improvements made with this firmware update? Are there options you will use regularly, or are we still missing that important function for you? Let me know in the comments below. I enjoy reading everyone's feedback um, and I really genuinely appreciate everybody who takes the time to comment and interact with our videos. Please remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, you're still here. Uh, no in the seat. <laughs>